Well, greetings, imagination connoisseurs. I am, of course, your Viceroy of Verisimilitude, your Master of Fun and Wonder, your existential Mr. Rogers, Robert Meyer Burnett. And I am here to do a John Campia companion video. He was doing a Rise of Skywalker spoiler review, and man, apparently there were a lot of questions you guys fired in, and he's like, dude, I need help. And, you know, help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. I guess I am John's only hope. So without further ado, let's get to your spoiler questions. Ryan Loner sent a $10 super chat. To quote the greatest Star Wars review ever, this film was the biggest disappointment since my son. <laughs> Uh, that's, of course, a reference to Plinkett. And yet I feel no need to start a petition to remove it from canon. Funny that. Well, uh, I'm right there with you. You know, it's just a movie, right? Isn't it? I think so. Uh, Observer Dude sent a $6.45 super chat. I think the fundamental issue with Disney Star Wars is that it can't seem to move past the original trilogy and go in a new different direction in terms of storytelling. Well, you know, I... I, I I tend to agree with that. Uh, I think the Mandalorian is doing a fine job of going off in a different direction. I don't, I don't know why the Skywalker saga is something that needed to be continued. Return of the Jedi kind of summed it up for me, but uh, I don't think you're wrong. I don't think you're wrong, Observer Dude. Drew H. Sent in a 499 Super Chat. I feel like the final battle could have been longer. Once the reinforcements with Lando came, they hardly did anything. You know... I had a problem with the whole battle. It seemed like, okay, they were going to get a, a go after an antenna. And there were like hundreds of Star Destroyers. And it just felt like the battle we were seeing just a sliver. Uh, I, I, Look, after seeing the battle at the end of Rogue One, which I thought was, was epic. Other than Jedi, it's probably the most epic battle. I love that battle. And I thought this was, it was a little lackluster and it lacked focus. That's just kind of how I felt. John Posey sent a $20 super chat. Thanks, John. Sequel trilogy went off the rails between the first two parts. Epic story. You cannot start the middle act seconds after the first. Character is most important in Star Wars. Uh, all simple stories let the characters breathe. Couldn't agree with you more. All, I, I thought the best part of Rise of Skywalker was when everybody was together. I mean, I like seeing all the character interaction. I thought it was good. Uh, Drew H. sent in a 499 Super Chat. I agree, a Leia Force Ghost scene with Kylo would have made more sense, but personally, the scene with Han made the Kylo Redemption work better for me. You know, I thought so too. I really actually was moved by that scene, although once you kill your dad, I think you're kind of irredeemable. That's just me. Uh, Herman Miller tipped $10. I was 12 in 1977 when I first saw Star Wars. Retconning has been the Star Wars way. Well, you know, I was 10 when I saw it back in 77, so I'm kind of with you, but... You know, I mean, the first three movies work very well as a trilogy. Uh, do we need more? I don't know. Oh, hang on. <laughs> That's not all you said. Let me start again. I was 12 in 1977 when I first saw Star Wars. Retconning has been the Star Wars way since Empire. Vader did not start out as Luke's father. Return of the Jedi. Leia did not start off as Luke's sister. Well, you're probably right. The 12-year-old in me overlooks all the holes so I can enjoy 7, 8, 9... Eh, you're luckier than most. I just thought that 7, 8, 9 were not very well conceived. Look, as I've always said, I think that the seventh film, we didn't get to see Han, Luke, Leia, Chewie, R2, 3PO all together. I thought that was the biggest mistake that the new trilogy made. Media Fanatics sent a 9.99 Super Chat. The secret Finn was trying to tell Rey was that he loved her or had feelings for her. It was hinted out throughout the trilogy. The last thing you tell someone before you die is not, I'm force sensitive. Yeah, I know. That was a little wacky. Haskell420. How you doing, Haskell420? Uh, sent a $5 Super Chat. Sci-fi fantasy is what if in general, but we all have to get used to the biggest what if ever. What if this trilogy actually was planned out? Sigh. I know, right? I, I think about that almost every day. Haskell420 sends a $10 Super Chat. Worst crawl ever. I wish the crawl read, There's a disturbance in the force. An enemy from long ago is returned, and the rebels sent their three best warriors to see if the rumors are true, and away we go. Yeah, I, I it was... First of all, I've said this before, I don't believe you should start a movie about Emperor Palpatine sending a, 
a transmission out throughout the galaxy without hearing the transmission. And no, don't tell me to play Fortnite. Come on, man. Not into it. J. June tipped $50. J. June, you're the man or the woman or the alien or the Mandalorian. I don't know because it's just J. June. But I want to thank you for that generous support of the channel. That means John can pay me. So that's good. I love your commentaries with Schnepp. Whenever I miss him, I watch the Man of Steel commentary to relive memories. What are your thoughts on film commentaries? Any memorable ones you like? And are you planning any future commentaries? Happy holidays, John. Well, you know, since I'm not John, I can't answer for him. But I will tell you this. I love audio commentaries. I've produced audio commentaries before. And I I, I love them. Would you would you uh, be surprised to know that I, uh, I helped record some of the audio commentaries on both Fellowship of the Ring and Two Towers. It's true, I did. I love audio commentaries. One of my favorites, I think it's on Escape from New York, with Kurt Russell and John Carpenter uh, kicking back and having beers while they're watching the movie. I love that. You can hear them drink. And one of my favorites, it's not a great commentary, but it's hilarious, is Conan the Barbarian with John Milius and Arnold Schwarzenegger. It It's high comedy. Any You, know, you want to uh, see great com uh, commentaries, David Fincher gives great commentaries. Hungry Wallaby sent three a $3 super chat. Thank you, Hungry Wallaby. Uh, I hope you didn't get burned in the fires. Jonathan Joyner sent a super chat for $1.99. JJ, Nick nolte the story to us. <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny. Ivan Gonzalez sent a two ninety nine super chat. John, do you think Kathleen Kennedy will be fired? You know, people keep saying that, but so far we'll see where Rise of Skywalker winds up. But if it makes a billion dollars, probably not. She's got a pretty good track record. She'll have $4 billion movies and one uh, one that didn't really work out. But that's a pretty damn tra uh, good track record. There's a good percentage of success there. Joseph Sorty said a $9 suit, $9.99 super chat. Once the story showed itself to be messy, I decided to enjoy the Star Warsy moments. In spite of the storyline, I definitely felt the emotion of those saber battles. And Babu Fricks was a delight. I agree. Uh, I liked the battles. I really liked um, what went on with Kylo Ren and and Daisy Ridley in this movie. I thought it was really cool. I, better than I probably thought it was going to be. And Babu Frick was great. Give him a movie. He, he must team up with Baby Yoda. Boris Rubo said a 245 Super Chat. Actually, I think touching a belly can make you pregnant in this new canon. Probably Anakin has been made the same way. Probably we'll see Ray's children. You know, you know what the Star Wars universe needs in my mind? More sex appeal. Not a whole lot of people are getting laid in the galaxy far, far away. How does anybody, how, how is it all populated? I don't know. Ryan tip $5. So with almost no training, Ray can force heal Kylo or Kyle after he gets stabbed in the stomach. Was Obi-Wan just feeling like a dick when he sat down and watched Qui-Gon die from the exact same injury? Yeah, that force healing business, not so great. Chris Norris sent a to our super chat. Thank you, Chris. Leia put her essence in Kylo, making him good. I guess, but uh, why should he be good? He killed his dad. The Baba Luke sent a 199 super chat. The Hux reveal was stupid. Waste of a character. I liked it. I like seeing Richard E. Grant kill Hux. It was great. <laughs> Who doesn't like that? Chris Pavoto sent a 490. Hey, Chris. Sent a 499 super chat. Rogue One and Clone Wars animated show. Kyber crystals are hard to get. <laughs> Rise of the Skywalker. Hold my blue milk. But well, that's understanding lore on Death Star Tech. <laughs> Eduardo O'Neill, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you know me, I, I'm not the biggest fan of J.J. Abrams' uh, film work, but there's just, it's like, come on, man. There's so much lore out there you can draw from. You have to do better. Do better. Uh, Eduardo O'Neill tipped $5. The Kylo Ren kiss got a big reaction from my audience. It was a collective, what the fuck? What the fuck? I've never felt so attuned with my theater. You knew they were going to Mac. Come on. I was waiting for it. Uh, look, how many kisses do we get ever in the Star Wars universe? It's nice to see somebody get a little tongue action. Uh, at least I'd like to think so. Senator Palpatine tips seven bucks. Hey, Curtis, you're like so porkable. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Who's Curtis? <laughs> uh, Tom Kirstead sent a $2 super chat. Thanks, Tom. Uh, it was Han's medal, not Chewie's own. Well, I know that's you know that that's that's what it meant. I by the way, when that happened, I got teary eyed. Couldn't help it. Totally teared up. Uh, Fife 
Six Sunday four ninety nine super chat. Whether people like the Disney trilogy or not, I still feel like these three movies just weren't needed. We could have gone without them, and I'd feel the same. I agree with you. Uh, what did we learn in these movies? Not a whole heck of a lot. Uh, not very satisfying. We, <clears throat> if Force Awakens had been about our classic characters, I would have been more down with it. They had one last adventure and pass the torch. I just, I was, those, those characters are never very well developed and I was never that into them, but you know what? As I've said, I did like the camaraderie. I like <clears throat> the character interaction that they had when they were all together in this movie. I wanted to see more of that. They're good actors. Heinrich tip $5. Why did Kylo throw away his lightsaber after turning good? I get that it was symbolic, but then he went to face the Emperor with a blaster. That was really stupid for a relatively smart character. Just a small problem in a really flawed movie. Yeah, the movie's a big mess. I like the first half. Not at all. But I did like the second half a little bit. Actually, quite a bit. Uh, I was into it. <clears throat> but not a good movie. Joseph Bowman sent a $5 Super Chat. Listen to Kevin Smith's podcast. And it turns out he's the guy who yelled, F yeah, JJ, at the premiere. What was that scene? Uh, I wasn't there. So I am. I have to let you down by not knowing. I'm sorry. Your overly uh, overly eccentric uncle sent a 12.91 super chat. You know what was also forgotten about Vader's redemption. Nothing says respecting the original trilogy by ignoring the finale of the original trilogy and making Anakin's redemption for nothing. Well, I don't think it was for nothing. I mean, he still saved Luke <clears throat> from the Emperor, and he still found the good within him. So he did make a sacrifice. I mean, I, it's weird to me that people think, look. He made a sacrifice. He made a good call. He saved Luke. And then, of course, uh, you know, Palpatine came back. But I'd like to know more about that. How did that happen? Uh, but I, So I didn't think it was for nothing. Edward tipped 10 bucks. Greetings from Buffalo. Fake spoiler. I'm so glad they tied up all the loose ends regarding B. Arthur's character from the 1978 Star Wars holiday special. Go Bills. <laughs> Go Seahawks. Uh, that's very funny. B. Arthur. Can you can you imagine? She's canonical now in the Star Wars universe. B. Arthur. Who would have thought? Marty Fontaine said a five dollar super chat. Uh, wait a minute. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> sorry, Marty. Marty Fontaine said a five dollar super chat. Am I the only one who noticed that the boy at the end of the Last Jedi didn't use the Force to lift the broom? Look closely. I thought he did. Come on, man. That's what you're supposed to say. That's what you're supposed to think. Chicken Chippy sent a $5.45 super chat. Where can Star Wars go next after the rise of Skywalker ended the saga? Do you think it would be better if one director directs the next trilogy? Look, having worked on the documentaries on the extended versions of the Lord of the Rings films, at least the first two, I'm a huge proponent of making trilogies all at once. I don't know why people don't. I think that's the way to go. I think that's the smart play. Um, I, I really don't know why people don't do that. I would hope they would do that if there's another trilogy. Just to keep it cohesive. And by the way, you know, you've got people like like uh, Kerry Fukunaga directing the entire uh, season of True Detective, the first season. There's precedent. Sam Ismail doing Homecoming. Uh, Euros Lynn doing Torchwood Children of Earth. Boy, that was great. Uh, if you guys haven't seen Torchwood Children of Earth, you should check it out. Stubble McShave sent a two dollar and super cents super two dollar and seven cents super chat. Palpatine is alive in Episode Nine. Will affect my view viewing of Return of the Jedi. I don't know. Come on, man. You'll get over it. Come on, Stubble. All you have to do is read Wheel of Time. You'll be fine. Rich from Queens tipped ten dollars. Hi, John. This is slightly off topic, but I'm 36 and I've never watched Star Wars. I'm dedicating a whole day to watch Star Wars from the beginning. I know there's prequels and such. So, in your opinion, what order should I watch the Star Wars movies? Thanks, Rich from Queens. Watch them in order of original release. And if you want to go machete order, do it this way. Do uh, go A New Hope, Star Wars, Empire, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, and then Jedi. And if you want to add Rogue One to that, start with... Now, you know what? Now, don't watch Rogue One. I mean, I like Rogue One, but just start with Star Wars. It's the best. Matt H. sent 4 dollars Super Chat. Did Palpatine clone Plagueis to create Snoke? I don't know. 
would explain the use of Plagueis' theme in Force Awakens. Evidence J.J. meant Plagueis, an original big bad? Could be. I mean, uh, well, why not? Jeff Mullen sent a 199 Super Chat. Broomstick Kid? Where is Broomstick Kid? What a missed opportunity. I want to see Broomstick Kid come back. Bring back Broomstick Kid. Justice. Hashtag justice for Broomstick Kid. Tater Tot sent a $5 Super Chat. Kylo was only hallucinating Han, but drivers acting in that scene got me choked up. Would have preferred something else, but Adam killed it in this movie. Totally agree. I loved it. Loved him in the movie. I thought he was great. Fogra 86 sent a five dollar and fifty three cent super chat. What's with all the the weird, not round numbers? I guess it's because it's currency. I, I guess uh, converted into dollars. But thank you for supporting the channel. What was the point of Snoke and the First Order when Palpatine had ten thousand Death Stars available? I don't know. Uh, what was he waiting for? I have I, I have no idea. It just seems so silly. Chris John sent a four ninety nine super chat. I felt very similar to your first reaction to the film when I saw it, but then found it more enjoyable the second time I watched it. Thoughts for you? I haven't seen it twice. I want to see it again. Maybe it'll be more enjoyable. Uh, I, I don't feel the need to rush out and see it again, though, which is weird. I've seen every Star Wars movie multiple times in the theater, as I famously have told people many, many times. Whoever will listen, I saw Empire Strikes Back 26 times in the theater upon first run. So there you go. Lars Hansen said a 739 Super Chat. Can we agree if The Rise of Skywalker makes less than a billion, it's a disappointment? I gotta say, Lars, I think you're onto something there, and I think you're absolutely right. Let's hope it doesn't... Let's hope it makes more money. I don't... I never want to see creative endeavors fail, and I certainly do not want to see The Rise of Skywalker fail. I don't. George Spirev... Spirev? Spiriev sent a $5.65 Super Chat. Trying to please fans and make money at the expense of continuity errors is a wrong move. A true Episode Nine should have been based on The Last Jedi, regardless of people's opinions. Lightsaber battles all the way. I, You know, I agree. I thought... Look, man, I gotta tell you. Rey and Kylo battling. Uh, I know we saw in the trailers with the waves crashing. Uh, I wanted to see a lot more of that, but I did like that lightsaber duel. I was into it, man. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, George Black sent a $5 Super Chat. Saw it twice on Friday in 3D and 2D. I didn't see Matt Smith either time. Was he there? Is that a thing? I didn't see him either. Uh, Gusta89 sent a $5.18 Super Chat. I think Leia somehow took control over Kylo when she said Ben. She stayed with him until he died, and then she became a Force Ghost. Probably, but you know what? Too many people are becoming Force Ghosts. It's like, what's, why not just... just who cares if you die? Uh, Adrian... Avalar sent a two-hour super chat. You hang out with people other than Anne? Blasphemy. You know what? Myself, I, my girlfriend Elizabeth, sometimes I hang out with people other than her, and so does she. She hangs out with people other than me. We trust each other. It's all right. A healthy relationship can do that. Brandon L. sent a $1.51 super chat. Leia, Ben, Kylo. <laughs> I know it. Why did you say that name? <laughs> I know. Terrible, right? Gusta89 sent a dollar for a super chat. Well, thank you for that. Uh, Mikey Mike, Mikey Mike sent a $15 super chat. Wow, thank you. In regards to the scene where Hans spoke to Ben, I was under the impression that Leia's last act to reach out to him was pulling that memory from Ben's mind after sacrificing herself. Could very well be. I, I like that idea. I think you might be right about that. I think it's pretty good. Observer Dude sent a $2.58 super chat. How would you rate Return of the Sith? Return of the Sith. <laughs> what? What? There was never a movie called Return of the Sith. The Rise of Skywalker from 1 to 10. I'll give it a 6.5. Empire getting a 10. Actually, Empire and Star Wars get a 10. Lord Alucard sent a $1.99 super chat. How'd Sidious survive by force landing on his feet? <laughs> That's very funny. I like that. Boris Rubio sent a $2.45 super chat. Thank you, Boris. Just imagine if someone told you 10 years ago that Skywalker will kiss... A Skywalker will kiss a Palpatine. Dude, never would have believed it. I think it's all a little wacky. You know, I I mean, I get it. I mean, it's just so weird. It's just bizarre. Ben Rayner sent a $2 super chat. Cosmic whales eyes rolled. I know, right? It's true. Thanks for the, uh, thank you though, Ben. I appreciate the, uh, the support. Alexander Dixikoff sent a $5.65 super chat. Palpatine. I'm the bad guy. Oh, no. I'm dead. Yeah, you know. 
I wanted more of Palpatine. How did he get that way? What was he doing? Where did he go? Like, how did he get out of the Death Star? Who are all those people in the Sith Temple, like, watching him? Uh, are we going to get a giant Sith Temple at Galaxy's Edge where we can go pray to a necrotic, like, zombie Palpatine? I mean, what's all that about? I wanted to know. Apparently in Fortnite, you get to hear his transmission. Why in Fortnite? Do I have to go play Fortnite now to hear the beginning of the Rise of Skywalker? What kind of world do we live in? A3 tip $5. Gotta be honest, that last space battle was kind of ass. No dogfighting, Wedge does nothing, Lando does nothing, yet all the ships are there. I figured that'd be a battle that would at least rival Return of the Jedi, but nope. It was a lame space battle. You didn't know what was going on. Nobody was really battling. Uh, it was not good. You know what, though? We always have the Rogue One space battle, which was pretty awesome. I love the Rogue One space battle. Uh, Mark Fournier sent a $3.78 super chat. Just got home from seeing it, and this is the 5% of the time I disagree. Well, with John. Oh, love the movie. Not original level, but better than Force Awakens, in my opinion. I thought it was better than Force Awakens, too, but then again, most things would be. But I'm with you, man. I kind of dug it. I kind of dug it, even though it has problems. Uh, BTA FBM sent a $2.11 super chat. It's insane the film's full plot leaked five months ago. I know, man. And I follow a lot of Fandom Menace channels, and I they got it. Those Reddit leaks were all real. You know, like Fred Willard said, or Fred Ward, like Fred Ward said in Robert Altman's late 90s, late 90s, late 80s movie, The Player, which if you're a movie fan, you should all watch The Player. The rumors are always true, especially when there's Star Wars leaks on Reddit. So yes, I'm sure everybody, I mean, I take no pleasure in it, but here's the thing. You know how I feel about spoilers? A script is written. So it's hard to keep that kind of stuff under wraps because it's there. Um, but yes, those rumors turned out to be true. T Edge sent a $5 super chat. I think it's interesting that Anakin programmed C-3PO to translate Sith, but to be unable to tell people the translation. You are one of the best. Well, I'll tell John that you said that. I thought it was weird too. What, C-3PO? Like, who programmed him to not be able to speak Sith? I thought that was so stupid. You know, I mean, who did that? You know, I mean, who knows the Sith language to even tell C-3PO not to say it? It's such a weird thing. I, I didn't like that. Notorious sent a two-hour super chat. Oops, never mind. On my last supper chat, movie was meh. On my last super chat. Why did I say supper? Notorious, let me read that again. Notorious, you deserve more than that. Notorious sent a two dollars. <laughs> Notorious sent a two dollars super chat. Oops, never mind. On my last super chat, movie was meh. Yeah, it was. It you know, it wasn't as good as it should have been. Which bummed me out, kind of. Joseph Sorty sent a nine ninety nine super chat. Thank you, Joseph. I appreciate. It. Taking Skywalker name to honor her masters and the person who sacrificed their life for her seemed fitting to me. She wants their name to live on and did it out of respect. The end credit score is amazing. You know what? I actually kind of like that, and I, I felt exactly the same way that you did. I really did. I thought it was okay. It didn't bother me. Terry Giordano tipped $7. I saw Revenge of the Sith three times. Or maybe it's Rise of Skywalker three times. Okay, it's got to be Rise of Skywalker. I saw Rise of Skywalker three times. Once with three daughters, once with ten friends, and again with a best friend. That's like a that's like a uh, uh, a question you would read on um, what is that? Quillette? What is it? Um, it's like that math problem. I think the Star Wars fan base went into this film as it being an epic family event, and therefore most would come out of it with a positive feel-good reaction. Family and friends always. Well, you know what, Terry? I kind of think you're right about that because, you know, the movie was at its best when it was dealing with our core group of characters acting like they were together, like a family. I I think there's a lot to be said for that. I, I, I think you might definitely be onto something. Lamont Richardson said a $2 super chat. But seriously, Raylo is really a toxic relationship. It kind of is, but, you know... I mean, I thought it was interesting. Like they fight with lightsabers. It's uh, it's kind of like it's kind of like no one ever has sex in Star Wars movies. They just you know they fight with their lightsabers. And Raylo is the closest thing I think we're ever going to get to a consummated relationship. <laughs> so I'm with you. Dapper Dave five two seven tip five dollars. John, have you heard there's a new drinking game? Every time you watch the Rise of Skywalker and you hear Finn say Ray, 
you have to take a shot. Oh man, we're all going to be hammered, you know. But I'm gonna when I get that Blu-ray or actually the 4K disc, I'm going to take you up on that. And I'm going to see. Notorious sent a two dollar super chat. You're right. Didn't Ky- uh, Kylo try killing his mom in the Last Jedi? Yes, yes. You know, it's all very kind of muddled. He was gonna, but he didn't. It's gonna blow her away on the ship. But other people did. I mean, that's how Leia got blown out into space. So yeah, you're absolutely right. Maya tipped five dollars when we found out that Ray is Palpatine's granddaughter. My mom whispered, "What did he? <laughs> what did he lightning?" <laughs> when we found out that Ray is Palpatine's granddaughter, my mom whispered, "What did he? <laughs> what did he lightning strike his sperm in a lady?" It was so hard not to laugh. I think there was cloning technology involved. I don't think he lightning striked sperm into a lady. And besides, that would not be very proper. There's better ways to get sperm inside a lady. Not with lightning. Jordan Marshall, t- and it's more fun. Jordan Marshall sipped, uh, tipped 702. Hey man, seriously, when did Palpatine have his kid? During the prequels or after he was deformed? Because it was when he was deformed, how much swagger must he have had to get a chick to do it with him? Because <laughs> if that's the case, I'd like to know his playbook. Yeah, apparently Palpatine is not an incel. He's got game. He's got skills. He's a uh, he's a Chad. <laughs> Go Palps. Sheev is the man. <laughs> I'd like to know his playbook too. Lamont Richardson sent a ten dollar super chat. So Kylo getting with Ray is more appropriate than Finn, a man that literally did everything to be with her and apparently has a connection. Guess he wasn't the right skin tone. Ooh, I hate Raylo. Wow. I don't know. You're accusing uh, bringing racism into it all, but you never know. I mean, the uh, the Star Wars universe, it's diverse, but it's alien diverse. Uh, you might be right about that. I don't know, but I'd like to believe that it's it's just an oversight. I, I don't think that there's any, any racism intended. Um, besides, you know what? Speaking of, uh, I liked Finn better in Rise of Skywalker than I ever liked him. I thought... He, I thought John Boyega did a great job with the character. I really liked his energy he had. I, I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Darklock63 sent a $5 super chat. Kelly Marie Tran and Carrie Russell completely wasted in this film. Both, I completely agree. I mean, you don't even see Carrie Russell's face. I met Carrie Russell before, and let me tell you, she is one of the loveliest human beings I've ever met, and she is strikingly beautiful in person. And you never see her face. Why not? Jude Auditor tipped $5. Hi, John. Rise of Skywalker was okay for me. Disappointing, but it is what it is. However, the movie did get me in a Star Wars mood. I'm currently reading an EU series called Tales of the Jedi. Oh, I like Tales of the Jedi, which follows the tragic story of Ulic Keldroma. Have you read this series? I read the comic series. It's a comic series, right? Uh, I liked Tales of the Jedi. I thought that was good. I think I have them all still. Alex tipped five bucks. After watching The Rise of Skywalker, I thought, damn, this is one of the worst scripts in recent Star Wars memory. I look up to find that Chris Terrio, who wrote awful films like Batman v Superman and Justice League, wrote this film. Why would they hire a guy who can't write those big movies well? Well, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, I don't know the answer to that, but uh, I would want to know. Uh once you get in that club, it's you. You get to. Uh, you get to. You get. You, you. You're part of that club. They keep hiring you. Stylo Ken sent a five dollars super chat. I always liked the idea of Ray being surrounded by and guided by a Force Ghost Jedi Council, but obviously that didn't happen. Well, you had all the voices, but yeah. I, but here's the thing. Like, I I don't I don't believe that in the afterlife. Basically, the Jedi are all hanging out together. You know, I, I mean, I'd think that if you pass on to the next plane of existence, that's why I don't like the idea of ghosts. It's like, I feel bad. Like, what are you hanging around here for? I get it. If it's something bad happens to you, like in a Japanese, like if you watch J-Horror, like The Grudge or something like that, I get it. You get stuck. You're mad. You are inhabit a house. You want to get your revenge. But if you're a force ghost, why do you keep coming back? Why not go be one with the cosmos or something? Why? What do you care about? What, what what people are, are doing in, in the real world. I mean, come on. Don't you have better things to do in the afterlife? Philly G sent a $5 super chat. Was Leia in some kind of force coma still being an influence on Ben? She didn't disappear until Ben died. I'd like to think so. I like that idea. I I, I mean, she was there until the bitter end. I I enjoyed it. I I, I She hung out. She tried. She, ben was her son, man. 
Ben was her son. It was important. Rick Tip $5. What fires me up is that these movies could have been masterpieces if they just sat down and, duh, plotted the storylines in the finest detail over the trilogy. It blows my mind. Kathleen Kennedy admits the movies were rushed. What? Dude. Rick, I'm so right there with you. I don't understand. You Look at Lord of the Rings. I know it was based on a series of books, but look what happens when you sit down, you got passionate people, and you go out and you make a trilogy and you shoot it all at once. Sure, they did pickups. Sometimes their pickups lasted two months. But look what the results were. Planning, planning, planning. Everybody knows. You want to make a great movie? Pre-plan it. That's how it works. Notorious sent a $2 super chat. Anakin versus Obi-Wan, still the greatest lightsaber fight. You know what, dude? I am kind of right there with you about that. Right there with you. Um, let's see. Uh-oh, did I miss something? Oh, I did. Sorry about that. Jer Maninen. Hey, Jer, how you doing? Uh, sent a $2.21 super chat. I love the movie, but it was two movies. Messy was great. Messy, but great. Yeah, I agree with you. It really was kind of two movies. How you doing uh, up there across the pond, the Atlantic? Hope all is well, that you're having a good holiday season. A3 sent a $10 super chat. The moments meant as big moments just fell flat for me. Nothing touched me like The Last Jedi's Luke Yoda scene or the Holdo maneuver or Luke's The Spark walkout to face the First Order. I was disappointed. I agree. It was so busy. I mean, there are no real scenes. I, I That's why I like the stuff with Kylo and, and Rey, like, interacting with each other. Scenes where something's going on. People are conversing. People are talking. Shit's going down. Uh, I was disappointed, I gotta say. Spencer S. Tip $5. Episode 9 is full of fake deaths. Oh no, Chewbacca's dead. Oh no, he's not. C-3PO is sacrificing his memories and can't be saved by R2. Oh wait, he can. Kylo is thrown over a cliff while he... Wait, he's con climbing out. Ray died killing Palpatine, but Kylo is saving her. Dude, I am with you. It was so... All those reverses were sort of weird and meaningless, and I wish they weren't in the movie. Ray Norris said a four ninety nine super chat. So what was it that Finn had to tell Ray? Well, it's got to be in my mind. I think somebody else said it earlier. He loved her. He was in love with her. That's what he wanted to tell her, but he did not. Dylan Truce sent a four ninety nine super chat. To me, Luke was trapped on the island in the Last Jedi, and Force projection was his only way off. Now it appears he committed suicide when he didn't have to. I know, man. And didn't his X wing? I mean, wasn't it not working? How'd Ray get off the... That's what was the whole point. He sunk it so he wouldn't leave. I don't know. But I I, I agree. Chris uh, Showbris tipped $5. I really enjoyed the film. It made me cry in the end. And it will end up as one of my faves. You know what? I cried twice, to be honest. I cried when Chewie got his medal. And I cried when Luke did raise his X-Wing fighter out of the swamp. Out of the ocean. Uh, and Which was weird because I thought he like burned it out or something i think i read that in a visual dictionary it bummed me out uh, i really enjoyed the film it made me cry in the end and it will end up as one of my faves i also loved how they honored both carrie and leia in the film what do you think about how they handled it? i you know what i thought they handled it the best they possibly could you can't not have her in it i thought they did a really good job and uh, kudos to them i thought it was handled very well i i i thought that was great i mean look we all know that she died but it was um, it was good. I liked how they honored her. Uh, Christian McCarran sent a ten dollars super chat. One of the parts that bothered me the most was when Finn looks up and identifies the command ship, and they asked how he knew he a feeling. I wanted to chuck my popcorn at the screen. I do too, man. This weird Star Wars shorthand. I don't like it. I don't dig it. You know, it doesn't seem real. And as everyone knows, I am the Viceroy of Verisimilitude. And these this trilogy, not a lot of Verisimilitude going on, kind of bug me. Kind of bug me, not going to lie. Um, I didn't, don't, don't ever chuck popcorn at the screen, though. Because if it hits the screen, it'll get butter on it. It'll leave a spot. It'll leave a mark. Oil bar. You don't want to do that. Jordan Marshall, tip 501. Hey, John, back in the Collider Jedi Council days, I used to think of you as some angry guy that's always ranting about something. But after watching you here, I'm like, nope, that dude is solid and a good bloke. Anyway, man, hope you have an awesome Christmas. Well, Jordan, right back at you. I have to say, I, I have to tell you, 
I've now been working with John for a year and a half, and he is a good bloke. He is a good dude. So, you know, I'm with you right there. He's a good guy. And uh, I'll tell him you said that. Uh, Chris Provoto sent a $1.99 super chat based on hand location. Chris Provoto sent a $4.99 super chat. Over or under 25%, Ben forces a child in Ray based on his land location when he brings back much like how Anakin could have produced... Man, I don't know. I think that's so weird. I I, I want to stay away from that kind of speculation. Not good. I don't like this. I don't like this. This this is all not good. It's not good. Not a good look. Cameron Ross sent a dollar ninety nine super chat. I guess Ray lost Kylo in the Last Jedi. My apologies. Well, that's okay, Cameron. Uh, Mike Hill sent a two dollar fifty eight cent super chat. Do you dislike this more than the prequels? I I don't like. I've always said the prequels are bad movies, but there's good Star Wars in them. I like the way that the story's being told, but I think George Lucas just, he he kind of lost it. You know, he was, he was gone. He, 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 yeah, it was, he was out. It, 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 it wasn't good. I don't, I, it, it was kind of a bummer. Uh, but I think the thing about the prequels is they had a very cohesive story to tell. And I don't think my problem was this, this, sequel trilogy was all over the map and they kept making shit up as they went along and it just didn't feel like it was of a of a piece which bummed me out jack power sent a five dollar super chat why does palpatine order kylo to kill ray if he wants her alive uh i do not know it's the whole movie is like wait what did anyone stop and read this script i think a lot of reshoots got in there i don't know ryan finelli tipped five dollars vader had many come to jesus moments he was worse than Kylo when it came to killing. Kylo redeemed himself when he realized Leia's dead. It's the same as Vader only redeeming to save Luke. Vader was more evil than Kylo, but no one cares he's redeeming. Uh, I think they do. I mean, I, I don't know. But, you, I, I, you know, I don't think Kylo Ren should be redeemed. I mean, he flat out straight up murdered his dad. I understand they want him, they want him redeemed, but he's irredeemable in my mind. Um... And he's a punk, too. Although I liked him more in The Rise of Skywalker than I've ever liked him before. So that was kind of interesting, I thought. Tucker tipped $5. I would have preferred if Anakin came back instead of Han Solo and talked to Kylo Ren. I feel as if he had talked to Kylo Ren about his own redemption story. It would have made a lot more sense for Kylo to become good. I agree with you. It didn't make much sense for Kylo to become good at all. To me, he's irredeemable. Again, he killed Han Solo. He's irredeemable. Don't... Uh, not not down with it. Not down with it. The Deadly Llama sent a five dollar and fifty three cent super chat. The thing with this movie is that it's a lot of great scenes that work on their own, but when put together, they become a mess that makes little sense. Uh, I tend to agree with you. It was a big, big, big mess, and uh, yeah, it, it's uh, it's weird. Cameron Ross sent a four ninety nine super chat. Does it bother you that Ray is the only Star Wars protagonist to not take any damage in any fights, no lost limbs, or even a burn, or even lose a fight? Yes, but she is kind of a superwoman. It's yeah, it's not. I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, she needed to get hurt. She she also needed to train to become a Jedi. But hey, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Philly G sent a ten dollar super chat. Apparently, the Emperor didn't study any tape. On how Mace Windu beat him in a duel using the saber to deflect lightning. <laughs> Had to get rid of Hux since they neutered his character in the last film. Yeah, I, you know what? The Hux thing bummed me out. But I did like, I loved Richard E. Grant. I've always loved Richard E. Grant. I loved him as pride. I, I thought it was hilarious when he, he goes, we know who the spy is. And they shot him dead. I would like to have seen more along those lines. It bummed me out. So I'm kind of right there with you. Heaven Day has sent a uh, $20 super chat. Wow, thank you for supporting the channel, sir. Anakin should have come to Kylo instead of Han. Kylo has looked to his grandfather for guidance in the Dark Side All Trilogy. Now he learns it was a lie by Palpatine. Adam, Anakin could help him fight the light like he did. Or, pardon me, help him find the light, not not fight the light. Yes, it's look, all of it is just so muddled when you start thinking about it. It's like, wait a minute, what? How does all this work? I don't know. I wasn't that into it, to be honest. Got to tell you. 
McFreezy sent a $5 super chat. Am I wrong, but if Anakin was able to learn Force Healing, he wouldn't have been so focused on saving Padme and wouldn't have needed to turn to the dark side. Yeah, I know. I don't like the idea of Force Healing. That's not, I mean, it's, you know, you're you're now a god. You become a god. And that's not what the Force is all about. The Force is, the force is all about literally finding not just a balance with the Force. You're supposed to find a balance within yourself. That's what it is. You know, it's... It, you don't you don't have magical powers to bring people back. Um, that's what the cloning technology was for. Yeah, it bummed me out. Uh, Aiden Green sent a ten dollars super chat. The movie felt way too reactive instead of sticking to their guns. This and the Sonic redesign indicate a dangerous new precedent for blockbusters pandering to loud complainers. Lest we not forget cats cats it was already out in theaters and they redid it when people noticed that judy dench her hand didn't they didn't finish the cgi so they are giving it back which is a little wacky not gonna lie very wacky roberto suarez how are you sir Sent a five dollar super chat what balance did vader bring to the force after return of the jedi we're back to the same situation in the new trilogy i know it's not a very interesting trilogy ultimately um it bummed me out. Jacob Olbert tipped $5. So, hi, John. The Ray's staff was just a staff. <laughs> or did she make her new yellow lightsaber from that staff? Also, Palpatine's death was very disappointing and cartoonish. Maybe they should stay with Snoke. But I get that it wasn't JJ's fault. Thoughts? Look, I thought all of that was very lackluster. Uh, they, they Look, if this movie was conceived of as a trilogy from the beginning, they could have dropped hints about Palpatine. Um... Snoke was an interesting character. Instead, we go back, and now there's just more questions. Who are all those people at that weird Sith temple on Exegol? Where do you get all the ships? Who built them? Who manned them? What, no one knew that he was doing this? What have we been watching? Yeah, uh, I'm with you. Mazif Jada sent a 221 Super Chat. They set up Ray's Force Lightning, so why not versus Palpatine? Man, dude, I don't know. I, I, like It's like they forget. Like, J.D., have you been watching what you, uh, you've you been giving us? I've been watching. What's up, dude? Come on. Aiden Green sent a $10 super chat. I thought the movie was an embarrassing train wreck. I get wanting to keep fans happy, but the movie felt like a series of desperate concessions to the Reddit threads complaining about Last Jedi. Uh, you know what? I don't disagree with you. It was all over the place. And and the story, there wasn't a, it, it, it didn't have a traditional narrative, you know? I mean, what it, what was Palpatine doing? He was building a fleet. He should have been reaching out. He should have been blowing shit up. You know, there should have been a mysterious force. Something should have happened. Everybody just kind of went to him. And Palpatine's like, nah, nah, nah. Why didn't he launch? Why didn't he just start taking planets out with those Star Destroyers? Why do they wait? Why, what are we waiting for? Take your Star Destroyers and go blow some shit up. It was so weird. The Night Donkey said a 999 Super Chat. Bringing Sidious back was a good call, but if they could have explained how he'd survived the Death Star. Yeah, I know, right? Or explain anything, like, where did he be? Who paid for those Star Destroyers? What, did he just miracle them up? I mean, that's a lot of work. How many, you know what I mean? The Kuat shipyards? How, come on, man. Ugh. We're just supposed to go, wait, what? Didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, The Night Donkey, oh, uh, they didn't, oh, uh, oh, yes. Pardon me, I missed the end of that. How he survived the Death Star explosion would have made it a better movie. Yes! Yes, it would have, and they just didn't tell us. Cliff Eller sent a 999 Super Chat. Damn, what about the Emperor's son? What the hell was that about? Did he even have powers, or was he just a regular guy? What the F? Great convo, John. Keeping it classy. Much respect. Well, I'll tell John you said that. I, You know... I mean, they, why isn't everybody clones? It's cloning tech. It's Clone Wars. I, I don't know, man. But I'm with you. I don't know. Uh, uh, Darth Kesso, KSO, uh, sent a 499 super chat. I think the movie would have been better handled if it was split into two movies like the Deathly Hollows. <laughs> I agree with you. They could have spent more time developing that stuff and we would have known more. Like, how did the Emperor get out of the Death Star? That's another thing. Nobody cares in J.J. Abrams movies. It's like, how did they build Starkiller Base? How did the Republic let Starkiller Base get built in the first place? You know how many people would have had to... What was that construction project like? Who paid for that? Why did anyone allow for it to get built? It's not like it was a secret. 
Bum me out. Hot Pie sent a $1.99 Super Chat. How'd the entire FO lose? The battle was on Exegol. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. Rob Man sent a $1.99 Super Chat. Ben's path to Kylo and back. Emo and pointless? Yes or no? Uh, I think it's emo and pointless. I mean, what would have been really interesting is that Kylo is a guy that got corrupted utterly. He got completely corrupted, and I, 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 wa I wanted to see more of that, more of that corruption. He was irredeemable. Irredeemable. Rob Mann sent a $1.99 super chat, and I respect that, and I thought his journey was kind of pointless. Stylo Ken sent a $10 super chat. There are videos breaking down similarities between Ray and Palpatine's themes, and it's striking, so I'm not 100% sure that wasn't always the plan. Also, Kylo's last word was, ow, ha. You know, I don't, it was not the plan. Because if it was, they would have used Palpatine. They would have shown that. I mean, we should have seen them, him gathering his forces and summoning people. Like his, his, like I said, if I'd made this movie and he made a broadcast to the universe, certain people would have been susceptible. They would have just turned like zombie-like and headed off to Exegol to find him, to join up. It was, um, yeah, it was weird. And Kylo's last word, ow, oh, yeah, not good, not good script writing there. That Norwegian guy sent a $5 super chat. JJ confirmed that Finn was force sensitive and that was the thing he wanted to tell Ray. Sure. Sure. All right. No, we, that's, I, we all know he wanted to get down with Ray. We all know that he's been in love with her for the last three movies. Oh, I'm force sensitive. I know. That was kind of cool, but that's not what you wanted to tell her, dude. Come on, bro. Come on, dude. Why is nobody honest anymore? Anonymous tip five dollars. Do you think including Carrie Fisher's scenes compromised the movie? I don't. I you know I like those scenes. I think you needed to have her there. Uh, I think it was important that she was there, and I I did. I have to say I did like them. I really did. I honestly, I swear to God, I honestly did. Wayne Edwards sent a ten dollars super chat. Thank you, Wayne. Appreciate that. Today is my birthday. Before I head off to a get together, I'm having a great time with you and everyone in the chat. Saw the movie last night. First of all, Wayne, happy birthday. I have mixed feelings. You know, Wayne, first of all, uh, it's never mixed when you have a great birthday. So happy birthday. But I agree. The movie the movie is nothing if not mixed feelings. There's nothing we can do about it. So, yes, mixed feelings indeed. Uh, Max Sutton sent a $1.99 super chat. Ray Kenobi still sounds better than Ray Palpatine. Yeah, it does, man. Uh, like... I'm telling you, I think that she should have taken the Palpatine name. Uh, MZ, uh, ZCMZ Zombie Custom Maps and a $1.99 Super Chat. I think they should have divided this movie into two. I, you know what? I think so, too. It's a big movie. Why not? Release parts this, six months apart. Or, or do that. Each part comes out six months apart. Uh, why not? Why not do that? I think that would be cool. Uh, Ray Palpatine. She should have taken her grandfather's name. Uh, Jaggy's faction sent a two point two one, a two dollar and twenty one cent super chat. Thank you. After Kylo's and Ben's talk with Han, Ben says no words. Yeah, he, he just says "ow," right? Isn't that crazy? I did like that scene a great deal, though. I thought it was really good. Rod V tip five dollars. John, thank you for your show. I like the Rise of Skywalker. I liked and disliked some stuff. One of the things I did not like was they turned the Knights of Ren into glorified stormtroopers. At one point, I thought they were going to give out speeding tickets. Yeah, I, they didn't really do anything. Like, who are the Knights of Ren? What is up with that? Like, give them some personality. That's what I, I feel like so much happened in this movie that I just didn't know what was going on. I, you know, you know, like, you got to get these people, give them personality. They can't just walk around in these suits. Like, why are you choosing to wear this armor if you don't have to? I don't know. I don't know. Henry K sent in a $1.99 super chat. All right, Henry, what do you say here? Uh, oh, I guess you didn't. Thank you for the super chat. Scott Mix sent in a $5 super chat. Why does the Falcon crash land and slide between <laughs> the damaged landing gear? It can hover as we saw when they rescued Ray. Dude, I don't know. As if you can just crash land on the ground and ah, your ship can fly right away. I mean, like, what? 
<laughs> what was that even about? So annoying. I was very annoyed by that. Um, I really was annoyed by that. Uh, why can't I apparently not work this? Max Sutton sent a dollar ninety nine super chat. Thoughts on Ray's yellow lightsaber? Hey, it's cool. Like it's a cool lightsaber. Um, but did she make it herself? I guess she did. But you know, again, show not tell us. I want to see her do it. Ryan Loner sent a five dollar super chat. I shouted kiss during Finn and Poe's hug at the end. No regrets. You should never have any regrets. Uh, I le that's what Charlton Heston said in Planet of the Apes. I leave the 20th cent century behind with no regrets. Uh, I, You know, that would have been good. People would have loved it. We did get a same-sex kiss briefly, but we did get one. Uh, that's progress. Thomas Ruffley sent a $5 super chat. Well, thank you, Thomas. The Gixer73 sent a $5 super chat. I just want to know why Leia's saber was green when she put it up, but blue when Ray used it. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Again, who knows anything anymore when it comes to Star Wars? It's it's all it's all crazy. It's all craziness. Alex von Gollum sent a dollar fifty one super chat. How do you feel about the Force Dyad concept? Now I thought that was kind of cool, but uh, that's the first time we ever heard of it. Like. Maybe we could have, maybe Ray could have delved into what her relationship with uh, Kylo was like, and maybe she discovered it in the Jedi texts or something that she had that she saved. I mean, that could have been interesting, and she had maybe talked to somebody about it. Like, it did seem to, they had some kind of a connection, and finding out that there's a Force Dyad, kind of a big idea, kind of a big deal. So I would like to have, uh, I like the idea though. I, I just wish I knew more about it. C.K. Gould sent a $2 super chat. Women like a-holes. Ben gets Ray. I'm single. Well, you know, that's not always true. Girls do like nice guys. They do. They do. I can guarantee you they do. I know for a fact they do. So keep trying. Don't be, uh... But yeah, I, I, Ray... I, yeah, I, why do you like Kylo? I don't know. Alex Von Gollum sent a $3.78 super, super chat. Hey, Geo. The last gesture of Ben before passing was a smile. That's a good thing, though. I, you know, I, I like that about that. I like that about Ben. Something he hadn't had in many years. I like the allegory a lot. I did too. But he was again. Why do we redeem him? He's a. He's a. I no. He's not good. I. Uh, he. He shouldn't be redeemed. Ben Carter sent a five dollars super chat. I mean, she is a Palpatine. Maybe his evilness is a turn on. Well, that could be. Maybe, you know, he rocks her nether regions from a distance. Who knows? But you might be right. I think that girls do like bad boys, after all. Could could very well be. Daniel Garcia sent a dollar, uh, one, a dollar point five super chat. What is that? Dollar fifty? Thank you for that. Stuart Schaefer sent a $2.58 super chat. Thank you for that. Uh, can't wait for JJ's take on Superman. He flies now. Yeah. Apparently, though, that scene, while it was cool, it was like four dudes. Well, they're the fugitives. We're just going to send two dudes on a motorcycle, uh, and, uh, four dudes on a motorcycle. Where was everybody? I don't know. It was a little weird. But it's not like they haven't had jetpacks in the Star Wars universe since, oh, I don't know, Empire Strikes Back. I mean, come on. That was They fly now? Yes, dude. They do. They flow for a long time. Maybe you just didn't see them. Piggy66 sent a $2.21 super chat. I'm going to bet your candy ass if you keep swearing. Uh, I like that, though. But thank you for the super chat. We shouldn't swear. We should use good language. Always. Tiffy Venom sent a $9.99 super chat. Thank you, Tiffy. Ray buries Luke and Anakin on Tatooine. Yes, the member berries are strong in that scene. But Anakin hated Tatooine. I know. It's I know. And Sand. Luke couldn't wait to get off. Leia visited once, but that's it. I agree. Why go back to Tatooine? Nobody wanted to be there. If there's a bright center of the universe, Tatooine's the planet that it's furthest from. I mean, I'd rather go bury his light. First of all, why would you bury lightsabers there? It, it didn't really, it was a little weird. I mean, why not go go to the Alderaan uh, asteroid field and throw them there? I don't know. 
Um, I, I think you're right. I thought that was really weird. They, JJ, look, all JJ Abrams cares about is his images. He wanted her standing in front of the twin, the twin setting sons of Tatooine, whether it made sense or not. That's where she wanted him or he wanted her to be. And he got her there by God. He got her there. Jesus of all sent a dollar 99 super chat. The dead speak poorly written crawl. You know, the dead speak one dude, <laughs> one dude. And, and we never even got to heard. We, unless you play Fortnite, what did he say? What do people think? How'd the galaxy react? Josh Jade has sent in a dollar 99 super chat. They hinted towards a Lando show on Disney plus, right? Billy D. Williams was so galvanized in that role. I loved him. I, I would love to see, I would love to see a show. I uh, bring on Billy D. Williams, man. Bring on Billy D. I am totally with you, hundred percent. Yes, indeed. We're gonna make that shit happen, son. Uh, I hope it does. Even though he's he's like eighty three, right? Still, he's the man. Howard D sent a five dollar super chat. The greatest disappointment for me is Finn. The idea of a force sensitive stormtrooper turned resistance member could have been amazing if done right. I agree. I, I, I again, wasted characters, bad writing. Uh, it's, it could have been great, but it wasn't, but yeah, you're right. That would have been great. I would love to have seen that Jedi master six, seven, seven sent a $5 super chat. They explain, <laughs> they, they explain what smoke was not who he was. Got to admit this movie left. They did. I, I think what you're trying to say is they explain what smoke meaning Snoke was not who he was. I guess they didn't explain who he was. Although you see him, he, I guess he was a clone. Gotta admit, this movie left more overall questions than answers. It did. And it was annoying. And I didn't like that. Jesus Zavala tipped five bucks. How did Kylo go from Kefbeer to Exegol? He took an Uber. <laughs> also, I like that the Last Order forgot to build TIE Fighters so the Dothraki can charge the Star Destroyer. <laughs> also, doesn't Palpatine have telepathy? So wouldn't he know Kylo Ren had other plans? All of it was just, it just, you know, while I enjoyed watching it, it, none of it made any, a lick of sense. Anonymous tip seven bucks. What I don't get is how Ray and Kylo force skipped and even ended up in a lightsaber battle. <laughs> but Luke, on the other hand, could only protect himself, which ended up killing him. Who knows? I, see, these are the problem. You, you watch these movies and you're like, wait a minute, are you paying attention to your own film? Because, well, the question you just asked. Uh, it, it was it's just all weird like why do you create stuff like force skipping so you can get like 10 different visually interesting things like where we're in a city where a monster's about to eat us it's like what does it have to do with anything tell me a story man don't just show me cool visuals i need a story to tell heaven days sent a two dollar super chat what the hell what the heck is a kylo ren why wasn't he a sith I don't know. Why is his name Kylo Ren? Why isn't he just Ben Solo? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's a good question. Mr. L sent a two eighty nine super a twelve eighty nine super chat. Kylo feels uh, feels Ray that he never lied to her, but go back. A uh, Kylo tells Ray or feels I guess feels, but go back and watch rewatch Last Jedi. Ray is the one who first says I am nobody. She realizes it on her own. Of course she does. Because it's like nobody pays attention to these movies when they make more of them. It's it's frustrating. It is very, very frustrating. C.K. Gould tipped $5. For the film to play out with perfect logic and time, the runtime would have to be months or years. Well, you know, maybe they could have split it into two and made it a little better. But yes, you're right. It was a little odd. A little odd. A little weird. Yeah. And it kind of bummed me out. It could have been better. They could have made it better if they wanted to. Logan Ashtrup sent a four ninety nine dollars super chat. I'm glad she finally built her own lightsaber. She used parts from her staff, and it was yellow. Felt good to finally see her training complete. Oh, I didn't know that. If that's the case, yeah, she built That's good. But she wasn't, I mean, I guess she was training with Leia, I, I guess. I mean, there was no philosophy there, but okay, I'll buy it. She, they showed it. It was, it was all right. I guess you just didn't feel it. Yeah, I don't know, man. Everything happens so fast in these movies. Simple tip, $5. Hey, John, I love Babu Frick. I did too. My oldest friend. 
What I noticed in my third viewing, loved it, is that Ben basically said, I love you to his dad. Han said, I know, and we all know what that means. <laughs> Follow-up question, what did you love most? I, like I said before, I really liked the relationship uh, Ray and Kylo Ren had. I liked how when they would talk to each other, how she, he could grab the necklace. I liked that. It was interesting, and it felt earned, and, and it, it played in the whole idea of having a force dyad. I, 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 that all worked really well for me, I thought. Mazen Kaiser Zero. I have a Mazen Kaiser. Sent a $2 super chat. The kiss and redemption at the end made no sense. No, it didn't. None of it did. The whole movie's kind of gobbledygook, but it's gobbledygook I could I could uh I could get behind. But you're right, it made no sense. Howard D sent a five dollar super chat. With everything seven set up, getting tossed aside in eight, and this one working as course correction, how do you think the trilogy as a whole measures up? Well, you know, it could have measured up a lot better if it was more cohesive. I I, I, I thought basically the, the problem that I have with this whole trilogy is and there's an article I tweeted. It's all cut scene storytelling. It, it it's not really about these people. You never delve into their characters enough. It doesn't have the kind of development. Star Wars. If you go back and you watch the original Star Wars, you feel that when you meet Luke, you follow R two and three PO. You're on this journey. When you meet the characters, they feel real. They feel genuine. All of the characters in the these this new trilogy feels like. They're variations on a Star Wars theme, and I think, well, we deserve better. But that's that's just me. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, you'll have to tell me. Sheepdog one seventeen sent a four ninety nine super chat. I know it means nothing, but both Rise of Skywalker and Joker have the same cinema score. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Well, listen, ladies and gentlemen, uh, gentle beings, kind people, people from a thousand galaxies, I want to thank you very much from the bottom of our hearts, both mine and John and everybody, Chris and Aaron and Fact Checker Jonathan and Ray. I want to thank you all for supporting the channel with your generous super chats. I'm glad I was able to fill in. I like doing these these companion videos. They're a lot of fun to do. Of course, you can find me on my own YouTube channel, The Burnett Work. You can find me on my show, Observations. And uh, I'm just passing 300 shows, which is pretty great. So like and sign up. You can find me on Instagram at Robert Meyer Burnett or Burnett uh, RMB or Robert Meyer Burnett. And find me on Twitter at Burnett RM. And of course, I will be appearing on the John Campia show, hopefully until the end of time, because I love it so. And I want to thank you. You guys are what make it all worthwhile. And I'll be back with a second companion video because, man, there's a lot of ground to cover. So I want to thank you very, very much. And as I like to say, remember, every person has a story to tell you have yet to hear. All you have to do is listen. Thanks very much.